That's fine. you got yourself all set here all right it being seven o'clock i will call this uh december 11th meeting of the oconee county planning commission to order uh, we are a recommending body to the oconee county board of commissioners decisions made tonight on resorting rezoning requests and other issues will be forwarded to the boc for final action uh, tonight's agenda and some sign-up sheets were out back. I got them up here, so hopefully you had a chance, but if you didn't, raise your hand later on when I ask. The Oconee planning staff will present their report and their recommendations for each request. The public input uh, will be received from the petitioner and the petitioner's representative. And then at that, right after that, we'll ask for any other people that want to speak in favor of the uh, project. Um, all total, I'll give them about 20 minutes. Then we'll open it up to anybody that wants to speak in opposition. I'll limit them to 20 minutes as well. Uh, the, 
petitioner, if uh, we were conservative with our time, will be allowed to, uh, and if it's appropriate, they'll be allowed to answer a few of the questions or concerns that may have uh, come up and uh, clarifications. When that's all done, I'll close the public speaking portion and that will bring it up here to this table. Uh, my colleagues will have a chance to ask the petitioner or the planning staff any questions or concerns they have that they want answers uh, um, or before they make any decisions. And finally, we'll make, uh, I'll ask for motions and seconds and we'll uh, discuss those motions and then we'll have a vote. Uh, for the benefit of those uh, pr present and watching online, all comments should be done up here at the uh, podium and you have to get kind of close to these mics, fortunately. Uh, as you can see. So uh, you'll announce yourself and your address, uh, please, when you come up to the podium. Direct your comments up here to us. It's these guys you need to commence. So talk to them. Uh, if we have multiple speakers and they're saying the same sort of things, you can say ditto and then go on to the new points that you want rather than spend a lot of time at the podium. And then we ask that everybody uh, extend the courtesy to each other and not applaud and uh, commenting from their seats. Appreciate it. And with that, ask my colleagues to look at the minutes. Hopefully they looked at the minutes and give me any advice as to whether we need to make changes, corrections. Last week, a month, sorry. And if not, I'll look for motions to approve the minutes. Jim is going to get in there first. Do I have a second? Mike, I see you. So uh, now we'll uh, all vote. Would you right hand, please, if you. That's your All right. So now I can ask Mr. Aaron to come up with our first. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Your first item this evening is. Rezone P230219, Chip Patterson, applicant and owner. This is located off Burr Harris Road. It's parcel B05029. It's currently zoned AG in the suburban neighborhood character area. And again, the request is to rezone the property from agricultural district to AR, agricultural residential, in order to create two two acre lots, one for each pre existing residence. Uh, you'll note in your concept plan and on your application packet, there is a, a house at this location and another house at this location. Uh, this rezone will bring this into compliance, uh, having one dwelling unit per parcel. Uh, staff recommends conditional approval with one standard uh, condition. Thank you. Thank you. So do I have the petitioner here or is Eleanor, are you going to represent? Okay, come on up. Hey, I'm uh, Eleanor Patterson. I'm representing Chip Patterson in the rezone of the property at Burr Harris. Um, I'm here to answer any questions you might have about this. All right, I don't have anybody else signed up in favor. Is there anyone? Okay, and I don't have anyone signed up in opposition. Does anyone wanna raise their hand? Right, quicken it up a little bit. I'll go ahead and close the uh, public portion and bring it up here to you guys. Either have the impression you didn't do your homework or you have no questions. We'll assume the latter, and uh, I'll ask if there are any motions out there yet. Move, except with conditions. Okay, I have a first from Nathan. Do I have a second? All right, Stephen. I didn't look that direction. All right, so I have a first and second to approve with conditions as per the uh, staff's recommendations. All in favor, please raise your right hand. Aaron, you're up next. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Again, your next case is Rezone P230228 
Armor Homes LLC, applicant and owner. This is parcel A01066F, currently zoned AG in the suburban neighborhood character area. And the request is rezoned from AG Agricultural District to AR Agricultural Residential District in order to create a three lot subdivision with a private access drive. You have the concept plan in your application packet showing the three two acre lots along with the private access proposed private access drive. These are the architectural renderings submitted with the application. And staff recommends conditional approval with our one standard condition. Thank you. All right. Um, so do I have the um, petitioner or petitioner's representative here? Yes. Come on up. Hey there, I'm April Mashburn. Um, address is 1241 Sims Road, Winder. We're one of only about six houses that have Winder addresses that are still in Oconee County. So um, I own Armor Homes along with my husband. We're a local small construction company. We have three employees. All of our folks live in Oconee, so we're local, and we're just asking that you split this uh, little piece of land into three two-acre lots. We'll plan to build custom homes there. Um, our engineer, Brian Kinsey, is here as well with um, answers to questions if you have technical questions about the details, but thanks for having me. So I have Brian, are you the engineer that you refer to? Do you want to say anything at this time or? Um, really just to touch on a couple of things. Uh, Brian Kimsey, Carter Engineering, 1010 Commerce Drive, Bogart, Georgia. Um, all three homes are over 2,500 square feet, close to 3,000 square feet. Um, Access will be off of uh, uh, a private drive that will be shared, maintenance shared um, easement. The um, um, water will be county water. The uh, on-site septic will be for, uh, used for each each house. Um, and then solid waste will be handled by uh, garbage collection from private company. So we'd be glad to answer any questions you have when, when the time comes. So don't have anybody else signed up to speak in favor. Do I have anybody else? Okay. I'll go ahead and close that, save any time that we might use later. Um, I have the Cox family here. Uh, which one of you wants to speak first? I know you both signed up, it looks like. Go ahead. My name is Shane Cox. I live right parallel to that and it wraps around me. Can we get a visual of that flat maybe? So, kind of so I am, I share this boundary and this boundary, this rear and this side boundary right here with it. This is my house. My well is right here. Okay. I'm, I'm all in favor of of um, I don't forgot what, you, what I had it in my mind. Um, moving forward, you know, far as um, some development of some sort. Um, so in in this piece, from about where I got this pointer right now, let's see. It'd be back down here in this bottom corner. There's probably an acre to an acre and a half of wetlands down there. That acre to an acre and a half is probably 40 to 50 feet of drop off from the height of the front of their property and our property height wise elevation. Down in that low spot where that is dropped down, say, 50 feet. My well is 48 feet deep. So it's probably tied into that aquifer. That piece of property I know was approved for two houses years ago, but I don't think there's room for three realistically with septic systems and, and everything else just being wrapped around me. Um, 
I mean, I, I don't have a problem with a house. Um, but it's, it's, it's just fully wrapped around me with the, and, and then with the septic systems, my well, um, there's no way that three two acre lots will fit on six acres when there's an acre to an acre and a half in the bottom that is nothing but wetlands. I mean, like mire up to your ankle and then mire up to your knee as you proceed in that bottom. And that that bottom is about from where this pointer is cutting across the bottom edge because that subdivision is back behind here. All this at one time was my family's land. Um, so, I mean, I'm not fully against it. I, I was told one house was gonna be put there by the man that bought it. Then it's been swapped and now it's gonna have three two acre lots. Well, three two acre lots is, is impossible when you have an acre to an acre and a half of wetlands in the bottom, but... Um, I guess that's all I really got to say. Thank you for that info and take that into consideration. All right, um, Michelle, having heard your husband, I assume, uh, do you want to add anything else? I think I'm in agreement there and um, I'm totally okay with development. I don't have a problem with that at all. And, um, you know, we've been expecting it, but um that what's my main concern was our well and our you know how the their septic systems systems was going to affect our water supply and with how we could do three lots with you know, two three two acre lots when we got all the wetlands so it's basically the same thing he said but uh, just stating my concern as well for the our water system mainly is the main thing gotcha thank you all right, I'll ask if there anybody else that was speaking in opposition that wasn't on my list. All right, I'll close that up. Um, I don't know that I need to ask the others to come back. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll ask uh, Carter to come back. I was I figured we would get to it, but say these guys some questions too. So on that well location, you guys have it marked well on your survey. And how are you going to address that? Yeah, so the, the well is identified. It shows the 100-foot required state buffer from the well for septic system. So um, each of these homes will require about 400 feet of line and then a 400-foot replacement line. So there'll be about 800 feet total of septic line for each house. <laughs> so there's room on each, on each lot for a septic system, even the side that's the wetland. So the... Uh, the gentleman talked about the two the two acres. The two acres does include the wetlands on that one lot, but you don't need two acres for a septic system. And so the septic system would fit in the corner of that third lot, uh, closest closer to the cul-de-sac. Um, <clears throat> as far as groundwater goes, um, that's a debate we could have a long, long time about septic systems and groundwater. But as far as meeting the state requirements, this would meet. Right, and and you're required to put a, um, a soil study anyway, and septic lines it, usually can't go in a wetland. There has area. already been a level three soil study on this, and it You've got it, some identified. It, it, it should be included in the packet or on our drawings, and so we've already gone to that step. We'll reserve the right to call you back up, but I'll close the public comment at this time, and hopes that we've addressed those two issues perhaps. All right. So I'll bring it up here to the front and I'll ask my colleagues if you've got any uh, questions or investigations. I'm going to ask a question of staff. Do we have got a, a copy of the soil report uh, uh, at this point or it'll be later? No, that'll, that'll later be that. with environmental yeah. health permitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Didn't know he had said it's possibly in the files. So I just yeah, I've got one also. No doubt the planning department's already looked at that, but with the driveway for serving all three properties, is there any chance those lots fall under two acres each for the lots themselves? No, because that'll be an easement. Point nine, I saw, but that's how long it was going to be. Yeah. Okay. 
I'd ask a question to clarify. Is that uh, is it the requirement that that be paved based on the current? Uh, if there are three lots coming off of it, yes, and that's what they're proposing. So it'll be a paved 60-foot wide, three-foot shoulder with a cul-de-sac or hammerhead at the end for emergency services. If it's two, if it's two lots. Uh, it could remain gravel. Can I ask uh, Mr. Herring, if you would, can you show the plat? The three acres on there, and do we ask uh, the is it Mr. Carter, the engineer, to show us where he's planning to intending to put the septic tank, drain drain lines, drain field. That be convenient. Thank you. Can we get staff to blow it up, and so we can just see the lot. Is that possible? Please blow. So if you notice, right, sorry, right here is the high spot, elevation 800. That's about the high spot on the property. This falls back this way, all the way back to the road. So on each lot, this lot here, you got a lot of space, um, very, I'd say reasonably flat, put the septic system on the front lot, either side of the house, it will work. On this upper side, it would fall somewhere in the front, or side, uh, front yard or side yard, either way. It wouldn't be in the back. It would be on the side of the of the house. So the house is sitting, <clears throat> more than likely the finished floor elevation of this house would be um, around 801. You know, the ground elevation right here where I'm pointing is 798, 796, 794, 7, you know, so it's falling down. So any of this area in here would work fine for the septic system. We can have a septic line up to five feet to the property. So five feet away from the property line, your septic line can run. So there's plenty of space here for that. All the way from this, this line here that I'm showing all the way down this side. Yeah, so we have to be, this is the, we can't be any closer than this big circle around that well. So that's a hundred foot buffer. As far as making it work, if it if if we, we would try to put it on this back side here, that's perfectly fine. But there's plenty of room in the front to put the septic system as well, away from the buffer. Okay. Question. All right. Um the question. I've closed the public speaking, so ordinarily I can't address any. Um, remember that this will go before the Board of Commissioners. So if there's any others that you, you didn't uh, get, sure get them in that time. But right now, it's these guys that need to make up their minds. All right. Any more discussion? And I will ask if there are any motions out there. Make a motion to uh, approve with conditions. I'm making a motion to approve with conditions. Do I have a second? Okay, Jeff, second. So I have a, a first and a second, and I this is to approve with the staff's recommendations and conditions. All, right. All in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed, Pete. That will go to the Board of Commissioners for further study or discussion. And that brings this meeting to an end. I want to remind my colleagues that next month's Monday meeting will be April 16th. Yep, Tuesday, the 16th. And Having taken care of that business, I will ask. First, start.
Nick, second. With that, uh, raise your right hand. Please. I just say get up and leave. Okay. <laughs> but you know, that ends this session on the.